this is me and today's video is going to be a groom tech up and ride with me because today I'm actually taking Casper show jumping. We're actually doing some jumping off property because I've hired out a local arena for an hour so that should be great fun. I think, oh Mickey's just coming up from the field now so they've heard that I'm here at the stables and they're all thinking that they're going to get some food. So anyway also with our show jumping today we haven't actually jumped off property for quite a while now so it's going to be interesting to see what Casper is like so we're probably going to like keep it quite small just see how it goes just have a little bit of fun so uh, he's just come out now and he is absolutely filthy mickey has come to say hello so of the season Yeah, you were built from mid-July You got the glow Your skin soft as ice cream. Yeah, you melt into my tongue. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm absolutely covered in Casper's summer coat. He's molting at the moment, so his winter coat is coming through. And it's like it's been snowing, really, because I'm just absolutely covered. <laughs> So now I'm going to get Casper tacked up, so first I need to pick out the saddle pad and I'm just going to be using this navy Veritas one. And we both know that it's probably not going to last forever Blink of an eye in May turns into September When we look back at all the things that we could remember I want to remember you And then I'll feel it again Casper is clean, he's been tacked up. I've just cleaned a little patch in him that I missed when I was grooming him with which had a little stain on, so I just used a bit of stain remover, washed that off. So just giving his face one little brush over because I'm just about to put his bridle on. Obviously you want his face to be nice and clean before you put the bridle on. I'm also gonna put his ear bonnet on as well and then we'll see you when we're show jumping. <laughs> I thought I would do a little voiceover of our show jumping rounds on this particular day. So Casper and I hadn't been show jumping schooling off property for ages, probably over a month. So as you can see here, we just chip in and get that pole because something I've been working on with Casper is trying to get one strides in two strides because him being a pony, he really does struggle quite a bit. So that's why we had that pole there, he just got a bit close. So over this oxy, he jumped it 
it beautifully and then here I actually asked him to do a flying change and he changed it at the front and not the back so I asked him to change back again so he was balanced and then here we did it in two and he jumped that really nicely he just lifted himself up a bit more so then I made a little course and to this fence here we chipped in just because the striding again he really struggled with and we we're getting a little bit close to quite a few fences today but he still jumped the fences pretty nicely and here he just felt so dead like potato casper but he still jumped that fence on a really nice stride so i was really happy with that and then here is where it goes a little bit more pear shaped because i went so wide so by the time i got to this oxer i just could not see his stride so he really chipped in there but then he actually jumped this upright quite nicely especially as he was united then again this oxer he just popped nicely happy with that but on this particular day we were both so tired we had a really hard dressage lesson the day before so I think he just pooped us out so here he jumped that double and just knocked the front again I just didn't really pick him up enough and then here you can see me talking about how potato he is um, we're a bit sloppy today sorry Cass he just doesn't feel like he's taking me to the jumps today. So after me acknowledging that my riding wasn't the best on this particular day, what did I go and do? Ride absolutely horrifically. Like this is so embarrassing to look back on. We were so sloppy here and then here he was just not looking at the fence. It was just all going so wrong and then he was disunited and then so after this round, I actually stopped halfway through and I was like, this is not going well. He jumped that ox actually pretty well for being disunited. And now that fence there was absolutely horrific. How was that even a jump? So the next time round, I was like, okay, Esme, you really have got to ride now. Stop just sitting there like a potato. So we did jump this a little bit better. We still chipped in a bit, but that was kind of expected with Casper's pony strides. Here, I really needed to straighten him up. He still was a little bit lucky, but jumped that fence quite nicely then round to the oxer he popped that quite nicely and then here I actually asked him to do a flying change that he got so I was really happy with that and then here I was like okay we are going let's try and get one stride oh my goodness he does a massive leap but he managed to do it in one so I was happy with that so well done Casp sorry about that mate took a bit of a flyer there so I'd just like to apologize for my absolutely awful riding in today's jumping session but you know what we all have bad days every now and again and this particular day was just one of them where I was riding like an absolute potato. So after that I decided to jump one more round, this time trying to neaten it up a little bit and then we finished after that and I was pretty happy at the end of the session just leaving on a good note. Stop believing, but I feel the wind remind me